Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. And today I am going to share some candles with you guys that were sent to me for consideration. So these are PR candles that were sent out by Colonial Candle. Before I show you guys the candles and tell you about these new fragrances from their brand new for fall 2018 harvest collection, I did want to just address something really quickly. Most of you who watch my videos have been with me for a very long time and you might remember that a few years ago I had a really bad customer service experience with Colonial Candle. Um, I had placed an order and then most of my stuff wasn't sent out. There was never an explanation. Um, I had to get like a refund. It was just, it was just a giant hassle. And at the time that it happened, I was super frustrated and I did end up making a video about the experience. Um, I took that video down a long time ago. Um, I just, I don't know, I just, I was kind of over it by that point. And I, ever since then, have still been buying Colonial Candles. I just haven't been buying them through the company website. So most of you are aware that you can get Colonial Candles at a lot of the discount stores like Ross or TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods. All of those places um, do sell Colonial Candles. And whenever I find them at those stores, I pick them up because I do think that just in and of themselves, they are a wonderful candle. Um, they always burn really well for me. You might get the odd like dud where the wicks kind of peter out, um, but I've always liked Colonial. I actually remember purchasing them back when, I wanna say they were sold at like Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that. And I would purchase a lot of their like fruity ones and um, it was nice because I think Bed Bath & Beyond, this is why I think it was Bed Bath & Beyond because they always have those 20% off coupons. So, and I think I remember using them on the Colonials and um, yeah, I've liked the company for a really long time. I do think they make a great product and that is why when they reached out to me, um, I decided to go ahead and um, work with them. But before I said yes to anything, I did um, the Stephanie, who was the um, social outreach person from Colonial, I did share with her what happened. And, you know, I was like, here's the thing. <laughs> I had this bad experience. This is what happened. And, you know, we kind of went back and forth and she reassured me that nothing like that would ever happen again, which is why I decided to go ahead and partner with them. And I'm glad that I did because I really do like these new scents that they came out with. And some of my favorite candle scents have come from Colonial. So I did bring this one up. Um, I've been finding these luckily, thankfully at like Ross and Home Goods for the last few fall seasons. This is one of my all time favorite scents from Colonial. It is their white pumpkin and clove. Their sweet iced tea is another one that I absolutely adore and will snag anytime I see it. But you can see I'm actually currently burning this one and I've always really liked these oval jars from them. They're very unique and yeah, so I just kind of wanted to address that because I know some of you probably watched that video and might be surprised that I even decided to partner with them, but I wanted to give them another chance and to be able to smell some of the new stuff and honestly there's a couple things in here that I think I'm going to go ahead and order myself because they smell really good. So anyway, if and also if you can find this ever, if you ever see this candle anywhere, I'm telling you, pick it up. And Colonial, um, if you're watching this, I'm sure you are. <laughs> if you can bring this scent back, um, I would buy all of them from you because they, oh God, you guys, they nailed this scent. It is so good. Do I have an in-depth review of this one on my channel? I don't know if I do. I should do one, even though they're a little bit hard to come by. Again, I think I have found most of the ones in this scent at Ross. So if you're ever near a Ross, go look at their candle section. And if you find this, just buy all the ones that they have. I promise you, you won't regret it. It is the most delicious, like gourmand, beautiful fall scent. But so anyway, I decided to partner with Colonial to bring four of these fragrances to you guys. So I got to pick the four that they sent out to me and 
I'm obviously very thankful to be able to try these. They are launching this collection on September 7th. I have an, um, part of my email here with uh, Stephanie so that I can give you guys the actual fragrance descriptions because they are not on the bottom of the jar. So um, I will be reading the actual descriptions and then I will let you guys know what I'm smelling when I'm burning these. Um, so again, September 7th is the release date. At the time that they sent me these, I did not know the prices, but I will put the information in the description box down below. So I will link all of these candles at Colonial Candles. So you can find them there. They are 14.5 ounces and they are um, similar in packaging to the Bath and Body Works candles. You can see these are three wick candles. Um, they all obviously come with a lid. The lid is just a beautiful rose gold and it's the same lid on all of them, but the jars are different colors. Um, this is a smooth wax. So this is different from the wax that comes in these oval jars. Um, you can see here that um, it's kind of, it feels like the same like vegetable, maybe paraffin blend wax that, again, Bath and Body Works has. Um, so if you're wondering what type of wax this is, it is a smooth wax. It's not like the paraffin style that you get in the oval jar. So it's a little bit different. So the four scents that I picked out are pumpkin sugar, which has, I really like the labels on these. They're kind of minimal and they're all different. Um, so this one has some pumpkins on it. Um, so this is pumpkin sugar. This is amber cashmere and I will talk about, um, this is, oh, it says soy blend. So it's a soy blended wax. There might not be any paraffin in here, but um, so amber cashmere. I just have them sitting up here, that's why I'm reaching. Autumn Spice. And then, I'm gonna say it, uh, this is my favorite. This is the one that I definitely want some backups of. Uh, White Pumpkin. I, I love the packaging of this, and I'm gonna start with this one because it is my favorite. Um, so, I have burned all of these, by the way, and I have tried to burn them at least a minimum of three, like two to three hour burns. Um, I'll tell you guys about the performance as well. Oh God, this one smells so good, you guys. Um, if you are into the same scents that I'm typically into, which is more like gourmand, foodie type scents, listen up. Okay, so the description that they have for white pumpkin is a delicate blend of fresh pumpkin, juicy apples, and the festive spices of cinnamon and ginger root layered with vanilla and raw sugar. So this description was a little misleading to me because when I burn this and when I smell this on cold sniff, what I pick up first is that vanilla and that raw sugar. So it's, it's a sweet candle, but it's not overly sweet. I do get a hint of pumpkin. Um, I don't actually get juicy apple, I get juicy pear. There is a pear note in this to me. And it's beautiful because it is a fresh juicy pear. Um, as far as the cinnamon and ginger root, if you're afraid of ginger, don't be afraid of this candle. I don't smell any ginger in here. And it is not cinnamon heavy at all. It is not like that typical fall, um, spicy cinnamon scent that you smell in a lot of typical fall candles. It's not like, it's just this tiniest sprinkle of just a fresh ground cinnamon stick. It's not red hot and I can hear the snorting behind me. So Mr. Kong has joined us. Um, oh, you guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you like bakery scents, if you like sweeter fall scents, if you like a mix of a little bit of pumpkin, maybe with some pear, um, and a beautiful vanilla base. You must try this one. I honestly, this one is, I I love it. I think it is burning extremely well. I did not trim the wicks so that you guys could see that the wicks are, they get pretty long. Um, I definitely blow these out after about three hours at most. And um, they don't really form mushroom tops. None of these do, did they? No. Well, this one did just a tiny bit, but not very much. I think this is the one that I actually burned the least. 
Um, I think I only did two burns with this, but I did at least three and actually four in the case of these two here. Um, I trim the wicks just to a normal wick length. Don't trim them too short. And um, there is no smoking, there's no sooting. Um, the throw is a little bit different on all of these. So these are more one room candles, I'll be honest. Um, these do not travel throughout the majority of my house. Um, I have these either in the kitchen or my family room. It fills the kitchen and family room area very nicely, but it doesn't travel too far outside of that. So the throw really to me is more of like a six and the strength is right around a six to seven depending on the fragrance this one is a seven so I know that there is something burning um, but it's not a smack you in the face kind of scent so if you are looking for really really strong candles I actually think this formulation from Colonial is much stronger for me that being said, I think there is definitely a place for these candles because not everybody wants overly strong, overly um, smack you in the face kind of fragrances. So do keep that in mind. Uh, so we are in the six range for throw. We are in the seven range for strength. So they're definitely noticeable, but not something that you are going to walk in the room and just be like, you know, like I didn't want to necessarily blow these out because they were too strong. I wanted to blow them out just because I saw the wicks getting a little bit too long. And so that's why I blew them out. And I do blow these out. I did not put the lid on to extinguish these. I'm still not entirely comfortable doing that with a lot of brands except for Homeworks. So, um, but anyway, there's that. Definitely my favorite. And let's talk about my second favorite, which of course is pumpkin sugar. I will try to be a little bit faster about my descriptions here. So a deliciously sweet scent that begins with orange rind and peach nectar. Next notes of pumpkin latte, mate, che, mate chai, <laughs> and spun sugar are expertly folded in. And finally, whipped vanilla is added for a mouth watering finishing touch. Okay, I feel like there's a lot to this description, but what I get from this is orange rind. I can smell that absolutely at the very top that comes through immediately. I do get the pumpkin latte. Um, there's no chai in here to me. There is a sweetness to this, but it is not as sweet as the white pumpkin is. And there is a whipped vanilla note but no peach nectar. It's a very interesting candle because you normally wouldn't think to put an orange note in with a pumpkin latte type scent, but it works. Um, this is really a delicious candle and I like this one a lot. I do not like it as much as the white pumpkin, but I think this is a very nice fall scent that is unique. I don't think that I've smelled anything like this from any of the other companies that um, are putting out fall candles right now. I think this is very unique. It's good, it is good. And um, the burn on this is nice. This one is actually, the wicks are pretty short as kind of like just they are after blowing them out. So I probably wouldn't trim these wicks, but if they are long like these, definitely trim them. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's really bright today so everything might have like kind of an orangey or yellow hue um and then the other two I wasn't 100% sure about I have to be honest um I was like I'm either really gonna like these or I'm not going to like them and I do actually like them they're very unique so I've got autumn spice and amber cashmere I'll go ahead and go with oh did I tell you guys throw um throw again a six None of these are more than a six. Um, strength of this one is actually like a six and a half. It's not quite a seven on this one. And this one is, this one's really beautiful. So the amber cashmere reads mandarin tea and green fig notes sit atop a bouquet of red lilies and vanilla orchid, stirring, war, stirring in warm notes of raw amber and cashmere woods. This is like a typical fall, feminine cologne type of scent. 
Now, typically I don't like cologne scented candles, but because it is such a feminine cologne scent, which I don't wanna say perfumey because it's not perfumey like a typical woman's perfume. It smells like a woman's version of a light men's cologne. It is really nice, you guys. That mandarin tea comes through. I don't know about fig notes, but I do smell floral. Um, I wouldn't say it's lilies though. You guys know I hate lilies. <laughs> I'm a real thing against lilies. Um, I don't smell lilies. And as far as orchids, orchids to me never have a super strong scent, but I do get that raw amber and that cashmere wood note. It's a very, typically most cashmere or amber candles have like a very similar type of note to them. And it, this is just a very classic warm, ambery, cashmere note that you're gonna find in here. This is really nice. I actually wish this one was just a little bit stronger. Again, we've got a throw of about a six and we've got a, um, a strength of about a six as well. I do wish this one was a little bit stronger, but when I put this in the downstairs bathroom, it is perfect in there. It's really, really beautiful. Um, it, this is gonna do better in a smaller room, I'll be honest. So if you have a bedroom, um, I feel like it'd be perfect in a bedroom or a bathroom, something like that. This is a really great fit for those particular areas. Okay, last we have Autumn Spice. And I, I like Autumn Spice. This is very, um, this has a sweetness to it. So nutmeg and spice meld with notes of fir needle, golden myrrh, and frankincense. So that makes it sound like this is gonna be crazy heavy and oppressive. It's not, it's actually very light. I get the pine note. I don't know that frankincense and myrrh are something that would pop into my head when smelling this. There's a sweetness to it, um, which I think comes from that pumpkin spice kind of blend, which is, to me, a mix of nutmeg and sugar. Not really any cinnamon. I don't pick up cinnamon in this, either burning or on cold sniff. Yeah, it's like, it's sweet, but not overly sweet. This one is really, really nice, you guys. I think so far, these two are kind of the standouts to me and I'm a little bit surprised. I thought that the pumpkin sugar would be like the second place winner, but I actually think it's the Autumn Spice. This is nice, you guys. Now this is the one that I wish was just a little bit stronger. Um, the label on this one's gorgeous, by the way. And look at this purple glass. Ooh, with that rose gold lid. I mean, ah, that is gorgeous. Um, the throw, again, a six, and the strength is about a six and a half, seven. If this one was like an eight or a nine in terms of strength, I feel like this would be perfect. I just think this one needs to be stronger. Um, but it's just so nice. It's just a beautiful, very pretty scent. It is, it's gourmand, but it's not bakery. Um, I feel like that vanilla sugar is really something that comes out in this. And it's not really in the notes, but it's the same type of vanilla sugar scent that you get in the white pumpkin. Gosh, and these two are beautiful together, by the way. Oh, yeah, these are perfect to burn together. And they just, they look so pretty next to each other, don't they? I just, I love this white jar with the, the deep purple. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, um, yeah, definite winners here. I would say, I don't know. I don't think these are bad. I don't want to imply that. But if I, if you were to only buy two, I would say go for those two, especially if you typically like the same type of scents that I do. But these two are really nice together as well. I actually wonder if these two would be nice layered. It's funny because I only burned one of these at a time. I was kind of like alternating them out in the kitchen and family room area. 
but they might actually be really nice together. So let me tell you the other scents that are in this collection just so you guys know what else is available. So there is a bergamot amber, a jasmine musk, and a whiskey cedar. The whiskey cedar sounded interesting, but I wasn't bold enough to get to choose that one. Um, so notes of Tennessee whiskey mingled with lavender before hints of warm cedar wood and warm amber. Like that really sounds, um, that really sounds unique. So maybe, maybe I would pick that one up. I'll have to see. These two for sure though telling you guys these are worth checking out. So a big thank you to Colonial for sending these out and for partnering with me on this video. I always appreciate it when brands um, take the time to contact me and want to partner on a video. It really does mean a lot. Um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. <laughs> I know there's so much stuff coming out with fall. Um, Bath and Body Works, Homeworks, um, Root Candle, like all these companies are all putting out this, these gorgeous fall scents all at the same time. I know it's difficult to choose. Hopefully this was helpful in helping you guys decide whether these were a good fit for you. If you are looking for Crazy Strong, I'm, I can't tell you that these are house fillers. I really can't. Um, this one I can smell through my entire house. I don't know if it has to do with the blend of this wax. If they're smooth wax just isn't um, conducive to adding more oils in or whatever the deal is. But again, these guys are much more house filling for me. Um, but yeah, I know not everybody <laughs> likes to be smacked in the face with fragrance though. So let me know if you guys have any questions at all. You will see these in my empties over the course of the next um, probably a few weeks here. I, I intend to just kind of finish these up um, and then move on to other fall candles. But these are also some great kind of transitional scents as well. I feel like they'd be nice for transition as well. So, all right. I feel like I've talked enough. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.